All right, thank you very much for being here. <coughs> if you haven't seen the uh, screen for the last 10 minutes, you may know that my name is Miguel Barajas. <laughs> yeah, And this is going to be a 20 minutes talk around what Grafana is, what Grafana can do for us, and a little bit of, of a demo, right? Uh, my name, uh, as I mentioned before, Miguel Barajas. I'm a technical solution architect for Cisco. I work in Latin America. I am from Mexico. That's why my word doesn't. Please bear with me. Um, I use a lot of a lot of words that came from that side of the uh, sea. Uh, and well, the idea is um, <coughs> just a little bit what Grafana is, uh, how Grafana can help me to buy, uh, visualize my metrics and data, and a demo. Make sense? It will, it's going to be just 10 minutes talk, 10 minutes demo, and we're done. All right? Perfect. So thank you very much again for being here. So wh what about Grafana? What is Grafana? Uh, had anybody before here about Grafana? Perfect. So this is a very introductory de uh, demo, right? So bear with me, please. It's nothing fancy, nothing. We're, go we're not going to develop on JSON or something like that, all right? So who's... Who, who was in that call, uh, in, in, sorry, in, the, in that uh, talk uh, previously? And with, oh, okay, so they talk about Grafana with, uh, with uh, switches and that kind of stuff, right? So what Grafana is and what can it do for me? So al allow us to query, visualize, and alert, and understand our metrics, no matter where they, and they are stored. Uh, why they, they uh, doesn't matter where they are stored? Because we're going to grab all this data we're going to create this beautiful uh, dashboard and visualization and you know provide that visualization and data in a way that matters for us right or for the executives or for the developers or for the user right the idea is to uh, convert and grab this data in order to uh, have insights of this data right so we can create explore and share dashboards uh, with your team and foster a data driven culture so what does mean what uh, what Grafana looks like, and Grafana gives this kind of um, uh, dashboard, right? Uh, it, it, you see here, uh, there is nothing fancy about the dashboard. I mean, it, it is beautiful, but as you can see, there is something like uh, we had previously, right? We have uh, graphs, we have <coughs> gauches, we have um, bars, that kind of stuff, right? The good thing is that I can put together this um, dashboard in a way that makes sense to me, the business or the operation, right? So, what uh, uh, what are some of the features that um, uh, Grafana can give us? It, it allows us to visualize our data. It allows us to do alert. I mean, this is not the main focus of uh, Grafana to do alerting, right? But it allows us to do it. Uh, it, can, it allows us to unify all the data. Right? Uh, it means uh, you can grab um, data from several d data sources and then put it together in a way to make sense, right? It is open. So it's open source. So you can download right now. You can run it in your own uh, <coughs> laptop as we're going to do right now. Actually, in the demo, we, uh, what we're going to do is just run a Docker container and we will create a new, a new data, store, data store from AWS and we will do some stuff with that, right? So very quickly, very fast, right? You can extend it and you can collaborate. So why it, it, this is important? What the the, the term uh, or or the idea of collaborate is important because we don't we're not the uh, main uh, source of truth in our company or our organization. So many people can have a uh, different view or uh, on how the data should be by, uh, visualized. So that's the idea to collaborate. So what about uh, we're gonna uh, pass here to uh, three of the main components of uh, Grafana. One is the dashboard, right? The dashboard you can download, import, it, and use it, right? There is several dashboards that you can use right away, right? Or you can create your own from scratch, as we're going to do right now. We're going to import one uh, dashboard, and <coughs> we're going to create a dashboard very quickly, very fast, right? Uh, it can be versioned. This is pretty good because we can grab the representation of the dashboard in a JSON form, right? And we can version it. We can put it in GitHub, or we can uh, use whatever uh, version system we have, and we can create this uh, uh, version of the same dashboard so we can collaborate and we can enrich the uh, dashboard itself, right? And it helps 
a lot of uh, types of visualization. Uh, it, something happens here. Uh, gouges, bars, uh, graphs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, all right. So that is a screenshot of what you're gonna see in the Grafana uh, web page uh, in order to download any uh, dashboard that you may use, right? But the dashboard itself doesn't have any use if we don't have data, right? So we need to have data. So why, uh, how we get data? We have data in two different ways. One is with plugins, right? That the plugins, the same way, we can go to Grafana, we can download a plugin, that it can be an application, it can be a panel, it can be a data source, it can be official or community plugins. So the people itself, when they create a good uh, application, they create a good uh, package of, uh, you know, uh, data store, uh, visualization, dashboard, etc. it packages it as a plugin, and it, they can download, uh, sorry, upload it to uh, Grafana so everyone can, can use it, right? And <coughs> uh, at the end of, the, but not least, data sources. The data sources is the main component of, for, uh, for me. I mean, this is my view. The, if we don't have data sources, we don't have nothing. I can have beautiful dashboard as I mentioned before, but if we don't have data where we can grab that information and make it, um, that makes sense to the uh, to the organization, so it doesn't work it. So we have several uh, types of data sources. The data sources itself is the way that we communicate with something, right? We can communicate with a data uh, database. We can communicate directly with an API. We can communicate directly with a file. I don't know, whatever, right? So what it does is grab information from something, right? and make it available to Grafana in order to create this dashboard. As simple as that, so, right? So what is some of the, this kind of um, data store? One is um, time series database, um, you know, as Prometheus or some, something like that, right? Login and document databases. We can use SQL itself, like Progress, SQL, MySQL, whatever, right? We can uh, connect directly to the cloud and grab information from there. That, that is when, wh what we're going to do. And there is some enterprise plugin. This enterprise plugin is very good because uh, there is these companies that are creating their own data, and, uh, um, data sources for their own products that make you available so, so you can explode that um, uh, information uh, in Grafana, right? So how it, this works, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, right? So the user see the dashboard. The dashboard is provided by Grafana, and all this is provided by all the data source that connect itself to the infrastructure, to the data, to cloud, to billing, to business, to development, whatever. So why, why is this good? This is good because at the end of the day, uh, we can provide information that is not only related to infrastructure, but we can relate something like, I don't know, business, how much money we are losing if uh, this uh, um, infrastructure is down, right? Uh, how much uh, money I am spending in cloud, right? So it's not only about infrastructure, it's not only about operation, but it can be about uh, uh, business as well. So that's the idea, right? And this is my eight minutes explanation of Grafana, all right? So any question before the demo? We good, pretty straightforward, right? So let's see, let's see what's what's going on with the demo. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do with the demo here. Come on, come on. All right. So uh, no, this no. Uh, here we go. Okay. So let's see. As you can see, I have uh, containers here um, ruining Grafana. Where I'm going to do is I'm going to spin another one so we can see it from scratch, right? So the the way that we can ruin Grafana in our uh, laptop, obviously don't use this for production. <laughs> yeah, we, we're not going to put your laptop in production. But let let me spin off another, um, another uh, Docker image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna run uh, this Grafana uh, official image in the port uh, 3001 on my uh, on my machine, right? So run it. That's it. I just installed Grafana in my virtual machine. That's it. Sorry, in, in my laptop. That's it. 
right? It's up and running. Okay, so let's see if that is true. So let me let me go to uh, localhost, right? I was checking the internet here. We don't have that kind of uh, speed in, in Mexico. <laughs> okay, so localhost 301, right? And there he is, right? There is Grafana up and running, right? So you know, user and password very very secure, right? Admin, admin. Obviously, why not? So it asked me for another password. So no, I don't want that. Okay. And that's it, right? So it told me, yeah, you installed, you already installed uh, Grafana, right? But let's add a new data source. As I mentioned before, the data source, without the data source, we don't have nothing, right? So let's do that, right? Let's add a, a source. As you can see, here is some source, uh, data source that we have uh, 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 straightforward from here. We can install more, right? Uh, but let's let's use let's uh, let's install CloudWatch, right? So there is the way that we will communicate with AWS. <coughs> Sorry, uh, in order to grab some information from uh, my account, right, and uh, visualize this data. So let's let's just add it here. And it will ask me, okay, how do you do you want to authorize? I'm gonna use um, access and secret. Uh, and when I'm ready to put the, um, the the access and the secret, I will unplug my my screen, right? For <laughs> security reasons, right? Uh, but yeah, th that's what it's asked me. It asked me what region is my uh, default region. I will use uh, US East two. This is because the, that's uh, my, the closest region for where I live um, on, right? So let me do this. I will unplug this so you don't see my secret and my access key, right? And it's not, it's not because I don't trust you. I don't trust the, no, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> so, let me, sorry. Oh, ah, you got me there. <laughs> okay, so. So what I'm doing here, is grabbing my access key. Grabbing my secret. Save and test, and voila, that's it. Right, let's see. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. So, uh, configure it. You didn't see it, all right, okay, we're good. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I put my access key, I put my secret key, um, and then I said that uh, the default uh, region is gonna be is 2 So, we're done, we're good, right? So. This data source comes with so several dashboards already built in, right? So we're gonna use one. As I mentioned before, we can import it or we can create from scratch, right? So let's import one. Let's import this uh, EC2 and let's import uh, watch, uh, CloudWatch uh, logs, why not? So with that, I have my inside information for enterprise, uh, sorry, for AWS, um, um, account. So as you can see, it brings my um, instances and it start to um, lock here what is going on with my um, with all my virtual machines, right? With all my instance, it can do all the network traffic inbound, whatever, right? This is pretty straightforward. I can see the details on the uh, networking, right? I can see uh, the disk details. I don't have nothing here, but is everything is low, but uh, that is and simple as that. I can bring all my information from that ac account and by and visualize it, right? So let's say I want to check just one um, instance, uh, and I want to see the uh, the um, uh, average uh, CPU usage of that uh, instance, right? So let's create a new dashboard. So so uh, what it takes to create a dashboard? Just dashboard, and I said okay. I want to add a query, so I'm going to grab the information and how I want to present it. That's it. That's the only thing I, I need to do, right? So let's do the, the uh, bird visualization first. I'm going to use Gauche. Why? Because I like it, right? 
and then I'm gonna uh, go the query. So what region is go I'm going to use, right? The, all this is different for every single data source of the covers, right? So every single data source has its own information, his own data that you have to know a little bit of, uh, on that to understand what data you want to grab in order to uh, visualize it, right? So I'm gonna use the uh, default region that was is two. You remember US is two. So the namespace I'm gonna use uh, easy two, right? So it's only no data because uh, I never I haven't told it what they have to sh to show. So I show the metric, right? I, I choose the metric. Sorry. So CPU utilization I use average, right? Uh, I can use uh, maximum, minimum, sum, simple count, whatever, right? But I'm gonna use average. Why not? And then what is the dimension? The dimension is the instant ID, right? I want to grab an instant ID and don't just show here, right? So that's it. I'm gonna select the value, right? And it brings me directly from my account all the instants I have, right? So <coughs> let's select one of them and that's it, right? This is, uh, th this is the, low, uh, the, the, uh, the load of the instant itself. As you can see, it's very low because I just spin it just for the demo. So it's nothing working there. Right? So let's see that you want to uh, have that in the main page. So that's it, right? You have that uh, new information. Let's see that you want to see the, uh, another instance here. So you just add a new panel, right? Shows the, uh, the visualization, gauge, do the query, namespace, same thing, EC2, here we go, metric, I want, uh, let's see the CPU utilization as well, average, I want the image ID, and I will select, oh, no, the image ID, sorry, the instance ID, and I will select another one. And as simple as that, I have my visualization and visualization here. So this is how we're gonna create a new uh, dashboard. As you can, as you will see here, if I uh, click in dashboard radiance, I have the JSON model here, right? So everything that I did by clicking, I can do it by JSON, right? And vice versa, right? So all this, all the annotation, all the information I did uh, and I created, it is here. As you can see, you just grab, you can grab the this um, data and just put it, I don't know, in a um, sublime text or whatever. <coughs> and that's it, right? There is all the information, I can version it, I can put it in, in a GitHub, I can do whatever I want, I can modify this, right? So my team can work on, on this uh, dashboard itself, right? And uh, obviously I can do several things like, um, no, I, I want to discard this. So I can create uh, another um, dashboard, I can see another dashboard like this one, right? Uh, there is all the CloudWatch um, information of the, um, uh, on my account, on the AWS account, but I can add whatever I like. I can add more data sources, you know, like um, a Prometheus, Graphit, Open the TVs. If you have uh, my SQL databases, uh, database where all your information is about billing or about um, users, about whatever you like, you can bring in them. Uh, you can bring the, all that information and can visualize it uh, itself. So that's what uh, 20 minutes give me. <laughs> there is nothing more that I can show you right now, but I'm uh, open to question. Is there any question? Cool, 10 minutes, I did it, right? You understand what Rafana is? Do you, do you see the, uh, how easy it is to <laughs> make it work? So thank you very much for being here and have a good rest of Cisco Live. Don't forget uh, two things. Uh, to answer the surveys, please, please, it, it help us, right? And all this information, all this video is gonna be um, uh, available tomorrow in DevNet, right? So thank you very much again.